maybe if you shoot over my shoulder, can you see kind of like what I see? Yeah. All right, you're filming? Mm -hmm. All right, I think so, so. Okay. I'm gonna build a vase-ish form. I've got my poster board. In fact, I'm thinking, hmm, would it be even more interesting if I gave it some curve? Yeah, okay. Now I'm happy. We'll make that the, the opening. This will be the base. And maybe we'll even do... Yeah, now we're talking. Get my scissors. basically going to create a four-sided form and this shape will be the front and the back and then I'll roll some thin slabs to be the walls which are the sides so cut 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 I'm trying to be pretty precise I'm trying to conserve as much of the paper as possible. And once I cut this out, I'm going to trace this to be the back as well, This is the, if this is the front. And maybe I cut that a little too high. If I drew it too high, I'm going to cut it a little differently. Basically what we're doing is designing with paper before we design with clay. So I can experiment, I can make mistakes, <clears throat> I could crumple it up and throw it away and start over. And I haven't wasted any clay or, or, or that much time. Okay, so there's my basic shape. I'm going to do a tracing of that. This is basically poster board material. It's just heavy, heavy paper. It'll hold its shape. <clears throat> I'm going to have to experiment with editing on this. Maybe I can get it to play this part and fast forward. Hopefully it's recording. Does it say recording? It says rec. That's so yes, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Thank you. It's red too, right? Uh-huh. Clearly, um, scissor craft was not my main form of training. But I'm doing my best. And again, we want to get these, you know, get, do the best you can, cut clean. But remember, we're going to trace these into slabs of clay. And we could always get out sure forms and stuff like that. And when we score and slip, there's room for error. That's what I'm saying. Last time we did a project with scissors. Table one, when's the last time you got to use scissors in school? Freshman year? Okay, good. Were they the pointy ones or they give you the rounded plastic ones? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's like the elementary school kind. In high school, it was supposed to let you use the pointy ones. And so I could either do a straight strip between those or something that flares out. I think I'm going to do something that flares out. I'm going to get another piece of paper for this. So, here's what I'm going to do.
That looks pretty straight. I may have to adjust that as I... As I I'm adjusting as I come. Better? So my thought is this will wiggle along when we get the a little blue tape. Blue tape is good because it comes off really easily. And let's see how this starts to line up. It's a little complicated getting the this to bend to fit the wall. We'll work down here at the bottom. Probably this kind of tape would do better, more of those. And then I can cut this up. So I'm basically building a paper model. Shoot, I should have traced this before I taped it on. I think it's blue tape and it comes right off. We'll edit this out. <laughs> Same with um, my nose itching. Mm. You're not filming that, are you? No, Trying not to. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you had to see that. <laughs> Just zoom in. <laughs> so by tracing it, I end up with two that are exactly the same. What's up, Alan? What's up? Watch it, or you got a question? Watch it. It'll be on, it'll be on YouTube later. Under the paper, so I don't get dust from the table on the tape, which makes it not stick. Start at the base. Conform to the shoe. need to build them this big. Other way. 
this goes here, which means that this goes here. And we're doing we're doing geometry in a ceramics class. So we're taking two-dimensional planes and we're creating a three-dimensional form with them. But we're not using a calculator or a protractor. Which makes me nervous. And now, bring it together. Do I need to bring it together? I, I, I can and I, I think I will. But really, this is all about creating a plan and this plan looks like it's going to work. Once I've decided it works and I like it, basically I'm doing the design process right now. I'm designing the piece I'm going to make out of clay. But I'm designing a model of it with paper and tape. And once that's done, then all I do is take the tape off and go back to the original template shapes and trace my slabs. Trace and cut my slabs with those. I'm making sure to line up the edges before I tape both sides down. These kinds of forms give you flat sides to work with, which is a lot of potential for um, decoration, whether it's relief carving or slip or applique. Um, we could also add little handles. I don't know if this feels like a wiggly pot. I wonder what a handle up here and a handle down here would look like. I think it's dancing or running. But um, this is how I'm planning my stuff out. Obviously, we should put a bottom on here, but I don't, I don't think we need to actually cut it out of paper. I think we can figure that out on our own. Um, so that's how to make a paper model that will trace your slabs out of. Thank you.